<laughs> it's not ideal. Um. Oh, we right to talk. Righto. Um, have there been any mention of the players of the match that we're doing? Okay. So every round we pick a player from each team. And um, if it's not announced, we might announce them all at the end. They all will receive a free Palette Loose Cosmetic DLC. Yeah, if you're happy to sing that out. That's fair, man. Oh, I might be enough to do so it should work. Man. All right, ladies and gents, we are back. We've got a couple of screens up there going on, and uh, <laughs> what I realised was that the headset sound was still on during the intro there, so you would have heard Red Dragon talking about something. Uh, so we're going to go to that straight away. Red, what was it that you were talking about within regards to the player of the match and stuff like that, please, mate? Oh, oh sorry, Riley. Riley, my bad. That's all good. Uh, so what we're saying is um, we're taking player of the match from each team um, every game. So... There'll be uh, one for per team per game, and we'll announce them at the end of the comp. Now, they will receive from Big D a Hell at Loose DLC for cosmetics. So it's one of the um, special edition um, cosmetics. So, yeah, so we're watching people and picking people out that all have done a good job in the game, and, yeah, they'll get a little gift at the end. We'll announce them maybe like the Brownlows or something, a bit of... Good yeah, fun. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Thanks, man. All right. So obviously there we've got Riley lurking in the channel again. Uh, welcome back, Riley. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And uh, Red's in the background doing some video stuff for us. So thanks, Red, for being here again, mate. Appreciate it. No problem, eh? And Gobes is back again. Hopefully we've got your imagery working this time, mate. So welcome back as well. Uh, thank you for having me. I've kicked all the kids off the network. Uh, yeah, the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at what's going on here. So here we have the map again up, and I'll get rid of those clan icons because we are going with someone different now. Um, the um, team I'm on at the moment, the Axis team I'm on at the moment, uh, is the TFK gang. So I'm going to be on the TFK side no matter where they end up. So we'll put the little image up the top left. There's the little kangaroo. And then on the right side... There's two groups here, the NRD AAS combo. So those little icons are now up in the top right-hand corner. So um, uh, that's that's what we've got, the two clans that are playing right now. This one's going to be a really interesting match. TFK have come a long way in the comp, but they are certainly one of the underdog clans. Uh, NRD AAS combo are probably looking for a bit of prestige at the moment. They've had some hard fights over the last few weeks. Would you agree with that, Riley? Oh, 100%, yeah. It's been... Uh been quite tough so it'll be interesting to see how it goes we've just had the reminder of what the map looks like uh for everybody now i'm just going to get my screen back up and have a look at some of those folks that are actually here with us and i'll drop off those other screens at the moment i'm just going to let you know that uh gabe i'm going to check yours there yeah, looks good can you move around for us please mate there we go look at that excellent perfect mate it's working beautifully uh, and there's a full screen from gabe's as well we can have a full screen of red he's just watching the lurkers lurk that's fine. Putang's screen. Now, Putang's one of the players tonight on the NRD AAS team. So uh, Putang will be streaming for us. But, uh, of course, we won't hear his sound. I better turn that off uh, because uh, it would be embarrassing if he starts giving away all of his tactics. Uh, let's see if he's saying anything. No, he's not. Um, so there's that there. Uh, and, of course, Yagpans is going to run around in the tank. There he is having a look out the viewport at the moment. What are you doing in the tank, mate? Oh, I got bored. <laughs> there we go. Rival right, well, Panzer is now driving around a tank on the map. Let's have a look, though, at the teams themselves. So TFK have got Idi Chuela, 
And I think they're doing this deliberately. They are making the names harder and harder every week for me. Gentlemen, I've got to say this. There were some names last night I just wasn't even going to try. So Eddie Chuella, anyway, that looks like the TFK, le TFK leader. A few familiar names in there. Fish sticks from the first round being the um, MVP that I thought. Anyway, Shmay, I've seen and played a few games with him before and Chad as well. Hello, Kinky. Uh, quite a good player from what I've seen in the comp and Joshua as well. Jack's in there. I know some of these main names. Well, you can see a few of the um, uh, admins down the bottom there. And I think they throw in a Comera player or two or some of the, uh, other randoms because the uh, TFK guys weren't able to get the full complement and uh, all of the clans agreed to support that. So, uh, you know, there's a few extra players in there as well, plus the admins as well. Uh, so I'm seeing that Riley's on the other team. Uh, so, Riley, can you tell me who you've got on that team that of note from the NRD team? Uh, we've got... Just Glasson, so he's a commander. Now, he's been playing for a long time, one of our, our Kiwi friends from NRD, so he'll be taking the command seat. Um, looks like we've got two recon squads. We've got uh, Winchy or Puinchy and Fatal in one, and we've got Poo-Tang and Rice Spice in the second one. We've got squads headed up by Iron, who's one of the veterans of Hell It Loose and Big D, Defective, Disorderly, Copycat, another guy that's been around since... Um, you know, uh, pre-early access. Very um, stable, very stable mind, copycat. You'll hear him walking yes. around as the voice of reason in many a public Oh, match. absolutely. He could have a career <laughs> reading e-books and um, <laughs> honestly, he'd make a killing. So well, There we go. Well, he's in Hill Let Loose, so hopefully he's making a killing here. Yeah, pun intended, <laughs> eh? How good is that? That is, yeah, the top, good. that is top shelf dad joke there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I, I will show myself out. All right, what are we expecting in this match? Gobes, I'm going to throw to you first. What are you expecting to see in this battle? Oh, what I, uh, half tracks, mate. I expect to see lots and lots of half tracks from NRD. They love their half tracks. Um, and I see TFK just swarming the point, and they'll just push, 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 like they do in um, Rising Storm Vietnam. I think they'll really push it and give NRD a bit of trouble this, this round. I really do. All right. So we're just going to let the um, – I'm going to run the uh, – I'm going to turn the jazz loop off, actually. I'm going to run the uh, the imagery of the background over the top there, this, the the flyover reel. I suppose we could have our little military music playing in the back there, couldn't we? It's always a bit cute. The little march. Little march tunes, yeah. It takes me a lot of work to find some of this stuff because it's not always free. Um, and if I put it on the stream, then it blots out. So I've had to actually um, – uh, work out which tunes I was allowed to use and so it doesn't blot out the bloody stream in the in the VOD stuff. Anyway, um, that's that's where we're at. Uh, we've got some good cameras up. Um, I'm just going to give uh, Putang a thumbs up. So let's have a look at Putang. Oh, here we go. The map free setting. Oh, well, shit. Hey, wake up. Wake up, everybody. Um, <laughs> not ready. Not ready. Wait, it's just man, you, mate. We're ready. Man down. Man down. <laughs> I've got a technical difficulties button too that I can press anytime I want. There it is. <laughs> Please stand by. All right, so it's time to get ourselves squared away here. Uh, we're just going to get ourselves into the squads. I'm on the United States team. Of course, the boys are on the other team, hopefully. Uh, we're doing the quick. Gobes is just joining me there. So Gobes and I are on the Allied team, and Red and Riley should be on the Axis team uh, for those different perspectives. Uh, and we're just turning off the highlight mode and oh crap and we're doing the wrong button there so there we go right we have oh it's bloody pierre's farm again boys oh. uh, it's like last night right to um, repeat itself yeah it is a little bit isn't it so last night if you hadn't watched already uh we had dug out twice in a row but those weren't points games this is a points game tonight so let's have a bit of a look here what's going on um and i'll just do some uh different screen share stuff now so what do we got here's Yagpanzer, who's following that tank and he's going to be following tanks for us red zooming all over the place lovely to see gobatron's going to be whipping around shortly uh putang let's see what side he's on uh, all right, he's on the top left, so I'm probably going to have to move him. I'm probably going to turn my music off too here. Um, although it's nice in the background, it does get in the way of a good stream, I think, that music. Uh, okay, so we look like we're doing well here. What do you got on that side first, Riley? Tell me what they're doing. What are we Talk me through it. Oh, so we've got the Panzer IV with Moon, Boone and Hawkeye. That's doing the sprint towards that main road, that north-south road that leads to the famous St. Marie de Mont Church. Um, 
Similarly, we've got nodes going down in each HQ. So they've already up to 60 fuel and yep. they're at 40 munitions and uh, manpower. So it looks like they're going to get all three nodes up before the curtain drops. Right. I'm watching the commander there on TFK run down that main road with a supply truck. We've got a transport truck top left there. And what looks like, oh, that's Gobes. That's you hanging up there, mate. All right, no worries. Don't do anything, Gobes. There's a main truck top right with a handful of lads in it. But, they're, geez, they're taking their time here. Uh, we've got a, a small tank coming through the middle there uh, up at Lagrange Chemin. And if I massacre these uh, names, it's because I'm Australian. And that's all I got. Um, what do you think is going to happen here, Gobes? What, what, what's going to happen first up? Uh, first thing they're going to do is hopefully build nodes. So hopefully TFK are building their nodes. Yep, they're doing it slowly. They're working it out. So uh, I think they'll push down the main road. I think the Americans, if they get that uh, supply truck, they push down the road quick as they can. Then they duck off. They've got a quicker run to Pierre's farm than actually the uh, Germans do because the Germans got to go through the town and slow down and do a loop the loop So uh, hopefully... Uh, it's a well, good push. They jump just, in the... just looking at that, there's a whole bunch of blue, the TFK guys, uh, that have run up, and they look like they're going Shanks Pony. We're, we're game on here anyway, guys. The the net's down. The battle's away. You can see them all running down here. They're, they're coming on foot. Shanks Pony, we call it. Um, interesting. I, I don't know what I think about that. We know NRD are very good at capturing the point early. Um that is that is something that we've seen frequently through the competition is uh, NRD get onto the point and take it early. They they have uh, held it sometimes and not others, of course. Uh, so, all right, at the moment, top left screen is Jagdpanzer, top right, or Riley, and top right screen is red. I'm just going to flick across Riley to Putangs, who he's locked out at the moment. Uh, his screen's not coming in, so I hope he hasn't had a problem. Um, but looks like I've lost his point of view for this match, and that's, that's that happens sometimes. Gobes is working fine now. Uh, this is all new tech for us, though, isn't it, Gobes? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. So it's just something we've been working on every time we do this, and it's getting better and better, I think. What happened with that truck just then, Riley? I just spun in onto you, and I saw the truck crash. Was that what happened? Um, no, we had a bit of traffic congestion. They needed to get past that uh, Panzer IV, but the Panzer IV would not let them pass. So, um, oh. yeah, a little bit of a, a bit of a confusion here from the Wehrmacht down in the south. <laughs> it's nine, nine, nine good. Uh, all right, so we've got a truck coming in. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting straight up. Let's uh, spear across the other side really quickly and have a look from this perspective. All right, so, Red, I'm going to cut, cut to your camera and see what's going on in the point if we can. Get down in that squad action, mate. I can see the Panzer four on the right there. I can see a truck yep. going out to the side. I can hear a tank shooting. And we got the from... Sherman up the road. Now he's way up the road. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I can see those rounds going. And that's the Panzer IV trading with him. Uh, okay, so they're both medium tanks, aren't they? Correct, and that's, yeah. So oh, anybody that's could die. And they bounced. Oh, it's all oh, over. the Panzer IV. Get back onto that Sherman for us now, please, Riley. We're going to watch that. Red's down in the town actually having a look here. I'm hovering over the top, hopefully hovering. I'm a little bit flicky there with my thing. Um, we can see that NRD are slowly taking the point here. NRD being the right. TFK being the left, so NRD will be orange for this match and TFK will be blue. Uh, on my screen, that is, on the primary screen. So uh, NRD are taking the point, but TFK are holding this. It's starting to push back the other way. This is going to be one of those ones, I think, where there's not been an initial early massive push of troops into that area. I think everyone's going for sector control to their own sectors first. Uh, there is a truck moving up on that right side there. There's a supply truck coming in now, I can see, and uh, NRD are trying to push out, and the NRD AS are trying to push out let's call them nards is that what we call them nards isn't it yeah or nerds, right. or nerds. i've got to say that nards, right because yep. it is a combo oh, okay. it's a combined clan so nards so the nards are moving up on the right flank there uh, here comes that sherman down the left side though uh and that's going to dominate the center point because the, the panzer force carcass is down the bottom there they're the truck and it is dead interesting thing about that truck though it was parked a perpendicular to the road which meant that it blocked line of sight from north i think that's a very clever play mm. even the carcass is going to block stuff from them being shot as they push in there's a random strafing man coming in from the uh i'd assume that was the tfk strafing yes it was there's a uh set of supplies being requested for out in that far west there now looking at the garrison placement all right we got one at fox three and one at Delta Four. You know, that sounds very familiar to what I said about 20 minutes ago, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
there there you go so either they thought about this themselves or they were listening to that stream because that gives them the backup footprint to start off with they've got time to slowly push forward from there and get some other stuff set up that's that's smart you don't have to own the point at the start you have to get control so you can push from multiple angles that tank is really pissing off the nards at the moment which it should be um but there is a uh this building up to the top right here this is what i was worried about for um for the uh tfk team or the northern team this area up here is is now infested with nards and uh, they're going to dig out of there. So well played to the Nards up here taking this area. Uh, you can see sort of a bit of sector control going on in a few different spots here. Um, Red still watching that middle point for us. Lots of machine gun fire going on over there. Uh, Riley, of course, is... Uh, and there's the point cap, by the way. So well done to the Nards for taking the point. They've got the sector control to the east of the map, that's for sure. And on the point itself, it's pretty good. They're not got much in the way of the south. Riley, talk to me about where they're... Um, get your map up for us, please, mate. And let's have a bit of a look and see what we've got there uh, on the map for you. Talk me through where the garrisons are. Well, they've got three solid garries in the seven row to, you know, keep their base if they lose the middle point. And then they've actually got a garrison up right in the middle where we saw last game that the, um, the public team were trying to base their main push for. Funnily enough, what I've noticed TFK have done is what we mentioned in the last game. They've got an AT gun on that long main road. So as soon as the NRD Tiger, which is rolling up towards the church now, as soon as that sort of passes that kink in the road in uh, H7, it'll be subject to AT fire. And those AT guns can fire two heavy shells every four minutes if you've got a loader. So that Tiger hasn't got a chance if, mm. if it gets uh, spotted by that ATG. I'm just watching uh, what Red's got in the top right corner here and also on my screen what I'm looking at. I'm just going to swing around to the north a bit. Uh, the point is actually being contested now by the TFK guys. They've managed, and that Tiger's, a uh, Tiger, the Sherman's making a big difference there in suppressing the Nards enough. And that anti-tank gun is also making a play from up the north there, although it just hit near its own team. They're going to want to watch that. The Nards are sweeping around behind, though, as we sweep into that big panoramic perspective there. We can see them coming in from that left side. Uh, I've definitely lost Putang, so I'm not going to try his screen anymore. We're going to go across to Gobes now, who is hovering over the point as well. And we'll just let you have a bit of a zoom around. Get in some, cl close to some of those names for us, please, mate. Um, and talk me through what sort of battles you've got going on in there at the moment. Okay, so they've got... Um, so um, TFK have got the hold in the trenches, so they're not letting um, the Nards push up. But the Nards have got the long range with the, sub with the machine gun, so they've got the MG42 laying down suppressive fire, but... The uh, TFK is holding the point just by that bunker. I'm just so, watching uh, that Sherman uh, and Riley. I can see the tank up in your top left there. Uh, you're following the Tiger, but I'm just watching the Sherman actually going out to the east to deal with the big infantry presence that's up there. So there's a half a dozen Nards coming in behind the TFK guys, and yeah, of course, they're getting cut to pieces here. Uh, but there's no icons on the map. Uh, that's that's the stuff. That's the stuff. What, what did you say to me? Ping saved lives last night, Gobes. Is that correct? Yeah, that's what I say. That's what I say as recon. Ping saved lives. Yep, and and information on the map saves lives. So there should be an infantry marker up here right now where I'm indicating to show that that's where it is. Because when you're running around as a troop, uh, a squad leader in particular, and you see an infantry enemy infantry marker off to your side, you you think about, well, should I deal with that? This uh, tank's getting shot in the ass now. I don't think that tiger's going to get a piece of it because. Uh, if we just zoom in quickly here, I'm having a look. X is actually shooting that in the back. He's hit it well, but he hasn't killed it. But they have another one. There's another rocket that's come in from down south there. That tiger's got sight on it as well, though. Yeah. There's another. Ah, oh, the tiger won't get the kill because that was a great kill anti-tank-wise from Dingo Pup. Well done there. So a good kill on the 76 to finally clear it out. And that's turned the cap back to purely in Nard's favour. So uh, really interesting little phase of play there. That Nard's push up into that top right corner. So where we're talking about here is uh, uh, Hotel 5, Hotel 4. Those buildings up there, Nard's have dominated that area, which allows them to push in a couple of... What is, what is the supply route? The the supply route of the, the TFK guys from those wheat fields. All right, Riley, what have you got going on there with that Tiger now? Where do you think he's going to end uh, up? He's going map edge, so he's getting around the um, Dragon's Teeth or Toblerones, whatever you prefer. And um, Toblerones, I like it. Yeah, he's trying to get into a good position. So, funnily enough, they got one round into that medium M4A1, but it um, 
It didn't pan. Or either that or they were firing high explosive rather than armor piercing. So well, we haven't we seen that. See how this goes. We haven't seen that at the competition level from any of our professional tankers at all. No, we, absolutely like? not. No, never seen that in any of our some of no, our there, experienced tank there, crews. No. There was no Kingsy at all. I mean, sorry, what? Um, it never happened. No, no, no. absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think his response to me was, "Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? That was all he had." <laughs> <laughs> Good. I, I believe uh, there was a little rage. A little rage. All right, so well, here's, here's uh, Puinchi. Okay, that's Winchi, yeah. I think. That's that is name. Winchi, yes. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, all right, so, and then Fatal's up there. Um, we can see a bit of TFK comms going on in, in text. Um, I find that fascinating. So, uh, you know, there's a bit of bit of advice moving around there. Uh, right, let's have a look back at who we've got on screens at the moment. Uh, so, Riley, I've got yours in, and Gobes, I've got yours playing around. So that Tiger's now camped. I can see it up there at the top of the screen. Very much a Nard's point at the moment, and they are getting that sector control like OC had in the last match. So they're even starting to push out to the north northwest into that wheat field area and dominate it. What I don't see is any machine gunners on the roof of Pierre's farm, which I would have loved to have seen again because that's a really good spot um, for that you sort of thing. You've got to use the truck to get up there. So uh, to get right, up in that, there you go. You've got to park the truck to jump the truck to get up on top of the roof. Interesting thing that just happened was a, a person's name came up when I was miles away, so I don't really know why I don't get their names back at this distance. But Nards have now dominated all the way up to uh, the Blue Zone. They're just starting to push into the Blue Zone now, and TFK are on the back foot in a lot of ways, very similar to the match we saw from uh, the OC uh, team previously. It's because the public... However... I mean, Nards have dropped an airhead right yes. in the back of the station. Okay, there you go. But I've just noticed something that's going on down here in the southwest corner. And that is a juicy little push from the TFK guys on, on well, it's come from one spot, but it's going in two different directions. And that's uh, that's good news for the TFK guys because they'll be able to push in, or for Garrison, ironically. So they've got three Garrisons out wide to the west. That's smarter play than I've seen previously on this this cap point. Um, Riley, just pop up your map again, map again for us, please, and let's just have a bit of a chat about what, um, what you've got going on uh, for Garrisons out this way. Uh, so they've got a good um, good sort of 200 metre spread, particularly in the south-southwest, but they've got one a little bit too far east that's sort of blocking the point. So they probably need to pull that down and bring one in a bit closer for the sake of 30 metres. Right, there you go. Um, uh, Red, I'm going to get you to focus on this push that's coming in from Fox 6, please, mate. I want to see what happens. There's uh, X is running around shredding him at the moment by himself. Uh, and I can see the... Um, uh, the Nards are responding to this push out here now by sending their streaming out ones and twos, though. So what, what garrison options have they got to get out there to, to defend against this, Riley? Uh, sorry, I'm just... Uh, the 76 and the Tiger are about to cross paths. So uh, let's that let's watch that. We'll come back to that map stuff. Uh, Red's watching that in the top right corner anyway. So the, uh, the, uh, the Nards have... Oh, and the first hit goes into the 76 from the Tiger. So 76 Ooh. spotted. It's been accurately marked. So uh, it should be all over Red Rover. But the 76 has angled quite nicely there. That's the advantage the Shermans and the Soviet tanks have over the Germans is they can angle quite nicely. And now it's one for one. And what yeah, does and that angling mean? Talk to me about that angling because a lot of people so, don't understand this stuff. So it's... um. Ooh. Well, there we go. The Tiger got it. He got the side shot into it. But they put um, three or so, four shots in, didn't they? They did. They hit uh, one one hit, one bounce, one non-penetration over the transmission cover, and then the final one kinched it off. So, yeah, with the Shermans, if you um, angle the target at about 30 degrees in this game, um, it basically increases the effective thickness of the armour. And um, so on the front of a 76, I think they're about 150-something millimetres effective slanted. So if you put that on an angle, it goes up to over 200. So it makes it very hard for the 88 to punch through it. All right, so I just had a huge successful point. Do um, or do not. There is no try. I uh, have just actually had Hubert write in the chat to the Naplane use icons was only at 15%, and I've changed that to 100% now, and look at that. Look at that glorious detail of who's who in the zoo. So, gentlemen, I suggest that you <laughs> all the little cameras are going in there now. <laughs> click on that, change it to 100%. You'll see all sorts of cool stuff happening. 
All right, so that that angling tank stuff is fascinating things. Uh, I, I used to know a lot of that from my world of tank days, but I could never remember it very well of what, you know what how to do it. So it's uh, interesting stuff here. What happened to that push though? Uh, look, it's still there, isn't it? Um, there's still a garrison out there. They still have sector control in Fox Six and Seven, uh, so that's not terrible for the uh, TFK guys. But uh, We've got a bit of interesting battles going on all over the place here. Red's Red's doing some following up there, um, and I'm just running around down here in the paddock and watching I run shred a few people uh, as they try and push. Yeah, look at that excellent play. Red just uh, I run just killed three people in a row. If we go back to Goves' screen, Goves is actually focusing. Where are you at the moment, Goves? On the point? Oh, I'm on the point. Um, and uh, Jack just got um got obliterated by just glass, and he tried to shoot, missed, and. Uh... Just glass and opened up with his submachine gun and got him. So uh, oh. bad luck, uh, Jack. Well, I am watching this push come in from the uh, TFK guys. It's not a bad push. How much difference do that map icon stuff make, Riley? Look at it. Yeah. So I had the icons up, but not the names. But yeah. um, no, it's um. A lot so more important now. in in about 13 minutes, everyone needs to cheer for Hubert, please. I want a full full cheer in the. Uh, channel uh, that's that's my official word to you all because hubert has given me the the thing that i needed that i hadn't uh worked out i think i think it was mentioned a few nights ago when i was fighting and i forgot all about it um so that was the thing excellent work now so we can actually see what's going on and i can start yelling people's random fucking names as they make them really difficult all right but some of them are good um here's a bobby run going in over the point now and sir cinnamon buns better run no he didn't outrun that one i can now tell you this information from this distance my big muppets down just glass and has dodged it. So there's two nards left on the point at the moment. Uh, Defective's in there. There you go. There's a shout out to Defective. I believe his son is uh, watching the stream tonight. I saw some chat about that before. So uh, shouts shout out to Dad. It's Mother's Day, mate. So no special treatment for you. But we're watching now. Siggy Snatcher, Shawan Saucy. Oh come on, Szechuan Saucy. Schizo Static. They do this on purpose, don't they, Gobes? Oh yeah, yeah. They, they do. Lots of tongue twisters. Seashell, seashell. Says good copycat anyway. Uh, he's coming in on that OP that's just there in the middle of the paddock. Hello, Kinky's in there. They're trying to have a bit of a, a fight down here. But look at that little push. It's pushing in with fish sticks at the front again. Very good player, fish sticks. I want to get close action on that, Gobes. If you could uh, shrink down into that action where fish sticks is pushing in onto the point, that'd be really cool. Um, He's watching. No, actually, no. Gabe's is now shooting up to the point. Riley's still following tanks. Hopefully, we've got some really cool stuff going on here. There you there's, go, a, up. there's a 75 coming in from the front, from the top. Ah, oh, to Defective got him. That was a good kill there from Defective. You need that kill. Uh, there's a spawn wave down the bottom there. This is really interesting stuff. There's Hugh and Poonchie trying to find Winchy, <laughs> trying to find the uh, garrison that's out the back there. Kinky and Saucy uh, trying to push, but Copycat's too good for him at the moment. His, him and his squad have been able to hold off there long enough that they haven't been able to push through. There's Lord of Sh Schmax or Lord of Schmay or whatever the hell his name is. Fishsticks is down on the point. They've got a few blues coming in, but the Nards have controlled this well. They've dominated enough. Uh, but there is a bit, bit of long-range fight coming in up the north there. Certainly that wheat field where Aura is at the moment is completely dominated by uh, uh, by the um, Nards. There's a tiger tank. Is that a tiger tank in there, Riley? Yes, it is. What's yeah. that doing at the moment? Shooting south and stopping the flow of blues coming in. Basically, yeah. Uh, but now he's swung around. I've, oh, the tank markers have just gone down, so he's turned his attention to the north. I'm just seeing that tank way off in the distance there. Let's get in behind it and watch this, because this is going to be one dead uh, 75 at the moment. Uh, yeah, the, that tiger, as soon as it pokes its nose out, it doesn't have to even think twice. It just puts rounds in and kills it. Uh, there it is. Thank you very much. I don't even know what killed that, whether it was the tiger. Oh, it was the tiger. Yeah, yep. okay. That's the end of that. So, um, yeah, you can't run a 75 in like that when there's a tiger on the field. And that information should be there. There it is. There's an enemy tank marked. So you can't... Yeah, they marked it straight away and they're all over it, so... Yeah, but you can't you can't push on that sort of stuff with the 75. You've got to flank. Certainly not with your, with your browning going and your main cannon going. You've got to try and be as quiet as you can in the tank yeah. if you want to try and flank a heavy. Back over and have a look at what Red's looking at. Red, you've got a little bit of an interesting battle going on there. Um, I'm loving that little uh, work there. I think that's Copycat in the trench who's really shut down that area. Finally, there's an infantry marker there. That fight's been going on for about five minutes, and finally someone's put an infantry marker there to say, hey, by the way, you guys running in up the north, how about you shoot south while you're running in and kill off those guys there? See, finally Fish Sticks has done that, and he's shooting Copycat, who's in a bit of trouble now as he runs away. But the push is all over. 
There's no dudes spawning in down to the southwest here anymore. It's completely completely gone. Now, Charlie's squad's around the back, so Schizo's around the back, but he's a recon squad. That the intel collection is terrible at the moment. Tonight, it's just been rubbish from a couple of the teams, and they really need to fix that stuff up. What what what's the difference on the ground there, Gabe's? You know, I mean, you do recon a lot. That intel difference when you're running around, what's it, what's it mean to you? Oh, I'm always talking and telling uh, people what I can see, what's moving up, what's uh, uh, you know, how many infantry, how many pushing up tanks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sometimes I get told I talk too much, so uh, or give too much detail. So um, you know, I think that <laughs> there's a balance. Opinion, yeah, in my opinion, I think TFK are doing really well. They just that. They just got lost a little bit of probably communication and maybe keeping the eyes on garrisons and stuff like that. But they're getting there. Like I'm watching their recon squad get right behind them, and uh, they're slowly working together and not giving away their position. So they're just shooting when they have to. They're not shooting when they just because there's someone there. Yeah. So I think that's really good. Well, they've absolutely been shut out on those attacks, though, right now. Um, copycat squad down here, they're MVPs for this match so far. That one little OP they had there, he's moved it now, I would presume. presume. I haven't seen it. But Dingo Pup, Copycat and Fatal have just, just closed this off here. And it, and that was a comms problem for TFK. If if that infantry marker had have come up you know, earlier, maybe it did, maybe we missed it. I'll, I'll, I'll apologise if that's the case. But... You know, Hell Destroyer, all those guys running along the top there that we can see, Chad, Fish Sticks, um, th their eyes should be looking south to support their other teammates as they're running in. So when you're, when you're moving across a map, you, your head should be going left to right, like what I'm doing with the screen right now, which is probably making a few people throw up. But just left to right, you know, that's how you can do it when you're running. And, and it's interesting what you see. You know, you run a little bit of slide sideways as you're running along. It's, it's not Battlefield. You don't all just run straight to the point that you're going for. Um, yeah, that's that's something. Anyway, let's have a bit of a look here out on the east flank now. That Tiger tank's dominating the point, Riley. Yeah, I can see what's 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 happening there from your point of view. A 76 has left their right spawn heading down the main road, and I don't yeah. think it's been marked yet. Uh, Riley, has that been marked? Uh, no, right. it hasn't. Doesn't look like... So there's there's an infantry push now. They're trying... TFK trying for the east flank control. Look, they've got... They've got more garrisons than we saw from the public team. There's an APC way over at Charlie 5. I'm not even sure what that is. There's, there's just not... That's Yeah, oh, that, that's a waste there. I mean, bring it over here somewhere or down here or go anywhere. I, I think oh, a couple of their players here, but... thought they were playing a full map and didn't realise they were playing um, just for the point. We're in round five, mate. At this point uh, in some, time... of the, some of the players are fill-in. So um, uh. as maybe uh, the community they've come in to assist... Ah, uh, oh, okay, their first, yeah. It's their first round of BPL, so... All right, I think, I think there's a good point there to um, get that into the pre-briefing um, because I've seen it. It happened once on, uh, a couple of weeks ago as well where there were people defending and they shouldn't have... Back earlier in the comp, though. I did it. I did, and I'll be honest, I did that against OC when uh, Foy Boys played OC. I completely uh, stuffed the brief and I uh, caused a lot of problems. Oh, uh, there you go. Well, it happens, mate. I look, you know... It's, it's something if you've done. There's an APC coming around the back of the point now from... Oh, have uh, a look. There's an eight... Um, Lord, Lord of uh, Shimmer's in the tank. Yep, in the back yep. of the tank. I'm just watching that now. And I'm watching Glass and shoot Hell Destroyer from the APC that he brought in. Chad's coming in as well now on the left-hand side. Look, there's pressure on the point. There's 20 minutes to go and there's pressure on the point. And I like that. Um, we must be coming up to a point in time in the chat where we start yelling out hooray for Hubert for getting the, the information right because I can tell you all about I run way up there at the top and Joshua way up there at the top and it makes me feel good and warm inside. So thank you, Hubert. That was excellent. Anyway, uh, Riley, what's going on, mate? Tell me a story. So Tiger's locking down the right-hand side or the east side. It took one in the bum from the AT. Uh, the second one was a bounce, and they're fixing it up. But we have that 76 lurking. Now, Nards have not found that 76. No one's marked it. Uh, in fact, I've gone for a bit of a fly, and I can't see it, but it's just shot. Yep, so that's it's... given its position away. Hotel 3, mate. If you want to jump in behind that, because I'm watching the Tiger now on the point. Hotel yeah, 3, it's in the middle of the sector. We're just going to watch. I can see that Tiger now is shooting up that way as well. Yeah, he's, re he's relocating. That 76 is relocating. Yeah, so unless he was, uh, if his primary objective is to kill that tank, wasting a 76 mil round on an infantry is just saying, hey, Tiger, I'm here. So. Uh, Vanille Skell just uh, cheered for 200 bits. Um, 
I, uh, yes, that'd be the Hubert chair. So this is excellent. Now, thank you very much. I'm so happy that this got worked out. Little technical things like that make the difference. Um, and Crash Marine's asking the question, where is TFK? I don't understand. So if we have a look very quickly here, very, very quickly, you can see there are quite a few TFK here, but they are short. They are short some. Uh, so they've got some command standards and stuff like that, which well, I'm okay with that. Um, I guess, you know, there is a time zone thing as well with a lot of the TFK guys, because I believe a lot of them are... Uh, from Kiwi land, am I correct? Yeah, they have a reasonable representation of Kiwis, I think. Mm, from memory, but so do so do our uh, nards. They've got uh, mm. Glass and Putang are both Kiwis, so Hawkeye. Oh, Schmay just picked up that APC at the back there, so that's a good kill. Uh, and there was a garrison marker on it as well. That is excellent intel gathering, and that's the stuff we need. So Schmay's managed to pop that. Um, that's the backup for uh, uh, PS farm for the Nards, but they've got plenty of people spawning in still. Riley, if we could pop up your map again quickly. And, oh, I don't know what happened on your screen just then, Red, but that was a death on the building from a tank, I think, and it looked really, really cool. That's awesome. Uh, Riley, we're just going to pop up your screen, please, and put the map on. Uh, so talk to me about where the garrisons are right now. Actually, you know what? We're going to do something a little bit different here. Tank on. Yeah, okay. So NRD have got Gary's in it. Boy, and then turn it back to a board in a wide formation. But I'm just going to cut to, you can see the Tiger in sort of the top right. And the uh, the Nards have marked the 76 accurately. So that's, oh, hit straight into it. So that was a bounce. That bounced from the mount uh, hit, straight hit, in. Hit. Yeah, so it penetrated. It actually bounced off the turret into the top. So and it's dead all over. Oh, nice kill there. An excellent footage, And again, mate. that's a, a good example of comms. Like, if they know where to look, they know where to kill. And that's All the right. thing. Um, TFK did not know where that tank was. There was no marks. There's no marks for anything. Well, there's 16 minutes left in this, and I'm seeing Fish Sticks and Lord of Shmay on the point. Gobes, if you can get in close there behind that particular squad, Chad's Bet. squad, I want to see what's going on there while I hover up high. That tiger tank there, just we saw it light up on Pierre's farm. It's hiding behind a building at the moment. There's someone just died at the uh, Dragon's Teeth. Uh, there's a push coming in from the east side. Oh, now it's starting to get a little bit interesting. Uh, TFK yeah, have got the push. They've got they've got momentum here. Winchy's over the back there in glass, and they realise there's a threat here. Those guys are... Nard's guys are really having to spawn at the back uh, this tiger's in a bit of trouble Riley if you could get onto that tiger mate I'm really keen to see what happens with that on the point there so I've got Gobes top right I've got Riley top left and I'm in the main screen here and uh, this is a really really good TFK push there Nards are in a lot of trouble here because there's quite a bit going on Huge has got to do some great work up there to try and cut off this line Hootang running around uh, didn't get his stream working unfortunately so uh, that's just what happens, but um, he's running in as well, our fellow streamer. Oh, the Nards have responded well here, and they're cutting them down. They are cutting them down. Uh, where's that tank going? It's up the main street at the moment. Gobes yeah, it's took... currently got a barricade and an ATG there, though, so... Yeah, I've seen. Gobes... Oh, almost... well, Putang saved that tank. Uh, they're about to get a... two rockets up the bum, and uh, Putang shot the guy for the rockets. That's excellent, mate. So you're down close in there looking at Putang right now. Uh, Shmay's still inside the building. Nards have really shut this down well. Oh, it's not it's not over yet. As in, uh, here's a bombing run I can hear. No, and no, they're pulling down the garrison sound. again. So the thing that enabled this was that TFK ripped out that um, the garrison that was sort of in the heart of the flux capacitor shape that the Nards had set up, but they've just ripped it down again. Right, there you go. So there's another spawn wave from the Nards. And they've just cleared out the last of the defenders, or the last of the attackers, should I say, on the point. The blue dots are dying. Now, we've got Josh, Kinky, Prot, and Nucle coming in. But I run is a very, very good player. And he'll pick them up on my... Actually, I think I remember rightly. Oh, look at that. Three already. I run put a... Um, we played on a map where it's Stalingrad with rifles. And he was shooting people through two buildings. That's the kind of player I run is. So, yeah, he's, he's been an exceptional shooter from back in the early days. So, yeah, so bit well of a freak there. like that. He's, he's killed pretty much all that entire squad there on that anti-tank gun. An interesting placement of the anti-tank gun. gun. Gumby's coming in now towards it. They've got to try and stop Joshua from getting to it. Josh is all alone there. I think he needs a spawn wave um, or otherwise he's in trouble. But what happens here now is you can see, here we go, Ooh. there's the spawn wave. They're going to spread out. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting stuff. Goves is watching that. I'm watching a... Well, Goves has got that on his screen and Riley's got stuff on his screen. I'm watching up the top right there of my screen. A spawn wave come in from the north-northwest of the point. Well done there for the Nards, though. Shutting down. That'll be the OP gun. There it goes. It just popped. 
So that's the end of that there. Uh, we'll just whip across to the middle here now because those guys have all been pulled out to the right. There's a wave of people coming in from the top there and they're going to get into the point now because Obi Trice and Defective have got a really got their cut, work cut out for them. Bread's up on top of the building with a machine gun. There's an APC coming around the back there now. That's a great play from the Nards with 13 minutes to go. That's vital to get that onto the point. So well played doing that. And this push up the north here is probably going to shut down a little bit here because uh, they're just responding quickly enough. There's Copycat coming back for that as well. He just get the off. Go on, go. Uh, the half track, they turn the engine off, and uh, they can't destroy it, so they're going to wait for someone with a satchel charge or rocket to destroy it. So There you go. But that uh, it's actually locked, that half track. Oh, that's a... Hang on a minute. That's a um, TFK half track. I thought it was yeah, the it bloody... Yeah, it is. Ah, nah, TFK. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that's uh, enterprising. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. Right now, uh, that the tiger's got it. The tiger's got it. Ah, uh, there you go. They're all stepping back from it for the tiger to kill it. There it is. Oh, I tell you what. Yeah, I don't know about putting it that in a, there. That was a cheeky play. If they would have had that infantry push, that could have been a cheeky play if he didn't get stuck on that truck on that he, um on that road. He did try and combine it there. I, that's what the push was about. Okay, so that's interesting. But the trouble is, they didn't have enough fire support coming in to deal with that tiger or anything. I'll just have a look to see if there's another tank coming in. I there I, is. Way out west with a rain dive uh, Yeah, it's yeah. another 75 uh, medium M4A1. So they're going to try and get beside this Tiger that's just sitting in the point of hold down defensive position. All right, so what I'm going to do now is switching across to Red, who's going to stay on the point for me and just watch this fascinating play with 12 minutes to go. Uh, Riley's on the tank there. Goves, if I could get you out on that 75 and just follow that around for us, please. And we'll come back to you when it gets closer. Uh, less than 15 minutes to go here. It's about 10 now, or 11 on the clock. Bombing run coming in. I don't know who this is. This is TFK's. TFK. Oh, there it is. Right over there. Went over the Tiger too, didn't it? It did, yeah. It hurt the engine. Yeah, they won't kill it. There's a supply truck coming in up the top there. I can see that tiger's still shooting. Rusty and Putang having a bit of a face-off over there on the left. There's still enough blueberries on the point here, but they're getting cut to pieces by Copycat. There's a strafing run that's gone over the exact same location as the bombing run. Oh, good fly pass. Thank you for the thunderbolt, I think that is. Um, there's still a few points, uh, people on the point here. There's a spawn wave just coming up there with Nucle, uh, but they're getting shot. Uh, that 75 is going to play, come into play. I'm going to go across to Gobes now. See where that 75 is, mate. All right, I'm watching it come across the paddock. It sounds like it's beneath me. Yes, it is. All right, he's coming in face onto that tiger. That's brave. Hasn't oh. been spotted. The NRD uh, mark is a uh, hundred meters out. Oh, there you go. That tiger's starting to move now. I can see that uh, in your screen, and I'm watching the overall battle here. There's some supplies coming in. I'm oh, there probably... it is. Accurate marks on the t on that Sherman now. Yeah, and that'll be uh, probably Winchy up there at the top there. He's looking southwest. I wonder uh, if they'll fly through the hill. There's a there's a burnout tank covering that 75. That's the only reason it's still alive, I think. There it is. There's the first hit onto it. It's got to keep moving. It's going to stop in front of a tiger. Not smart. Not at all smart. There's the supply truck up the north just blew up. There's the tire and the 75 blown up. Uh, that wasn't a real good idea at all, was it, Riley? Nah. Nah. Unless it's a distraction, unless they've got some uh, TFK, have got something else planned to pull that tiger looking east, uh, west. Um, well, they've still got the Garys around. I'm just looking at the map now. You can pop up your map as well so everyone can see what's happening on the other side, please. Uh, so we're seeing, look, you know, there's that garrison in the southwest. It's been there for a long time, so that's a good garrison. They haven't got anything within a grid square. Excuse me. Within a grid square of the point, so that's that's no good from an attacking perspective. But, they, I mean, there's not a lot of OPs up either. I'm seeing three squad leaders down south and no OPs at all. Um, they're probably trying to flank around a bit and get something up, and it looks like they're trying to put a garrison down there in Gulf 6. Um, there's this Gary way up to the northwest, so that's the, you know, when everything goes bad. they got probably less than 10 minutes left now. The supplies going north. I don't think that's going to be any good because Nards are dominating that area. Yeah. Nards, um, know, Nards know that they're pushing at the back there. So they know that that garrison got put down there. So they are pushing there with a two-man squad. Really cool footage there from Red. We're seeing Huge Anus on... Uh, thanks for that name, by the way. Fucking hell. Huge Anus <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> um, yeah, he probably is. Yeah, that Huge Anus is on fire tonight. <laughs> Uh, now, I'm seeing this, yeah, okay, so there's a locked garrison down here now. I'm watching that. 
Uh, the Tigers sort of uh, running around up there with Huge. It's a fair way out of the fight at the moment. The threat is southwest and northwest. So that's uh, good work from TFK with eight minutes on the clock left. Can they push in from here? The, the squad leaders need to get their OPs up as well as just two garrisons. Oh, oh God. It's getting late. I'm an old man. Um, Keeping you awake, mate. Yeah, a little bit, I think. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> What do you what do you do from here, Riley? What do you do from here if you're TFK? They've got a little, good little push coming in out in the southwest. That's not bad at all. But what do you do with it? Yeah, well, that's it. I think from looking at the uh, Nard side, they've got a, quite a good garrison spread that's also serving as radar. So that's lit up. I think they need to be coordinated. They need to get a presence, hold, and then try and push in simultaneously from a few angles. But I'm you seeing know, that right now. Gobes, can you see that to the direct south of the point there, mate? I uh, yes, to... I can. I'm looking at that right now from the machine gunner's perspective on top of the house, and I can see three to five pushing. And they're pushing from uh, three different axes now. So yeah. so I've got that beautiful overall perspective now, and with the nameplates, everyone's having a cheer now. Muzz has got it. Thanks, Muzz. Um, so I'm looking at that. That's a huge spawn wave there. Fish sticks, I am Jack. All those boys coming in. I've got Josh and Chad down the bottom there. but uh, And they've got a garrison marked. So this is really threatening. Seven minutes to go on the clock, just over. Nards have got to really start to work this out. That tank is sitting up there with the machine gun. What's he shooting at, Riley? Uh, there is a sniper there that um, seems to have taken his fancy. Hasn't right. managed to get him yet, but um, he's... Certainly uh, using a lot of firepower <laughs> on one sniper. This is a uh, Bread's doing a great job there on the top of that building. Uh, well, I see I had that happen the other night where they sent a squad and a tiger tank after me. It was hilarious. Um, Bread's doing a great job up on this this uh, thing here. Um, Gobes, that's a great view there, mate. We're going to stay on that until Bread dies if we can, please. There's a spawn wave from Copycat in the middle of the paddock. Uh, right in amongst it. Oh, God, this is a fascinating. They're all within about 10 paces of each other. I'm watching now. Dingo Pup and Nuckle could touch each other. That's how close they are. And Aura and Obi. Oh my goodness! Look at this stuff. Dingo and Dingo and Aura are looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Aura's come off the best there. Shooters in next to Nuckle. There it is. Oh, well played there. Wow. These wheat fields. When you're down low, you're down low. There's Jack trying to run around a bit. That was amazing stuff. Um, did uh, it breads breads off the breads off the building? Okay, Gobes, if you could follow that wheat field, please, mate. Specifically, that push from in uh, from TFK is coming in. I've got Lord of Shmay and Joshua coming around the top there. This is interesting. Six minutes to go. TF, TFK have got map control to the south, guys. And their seventy six is pushing down that main road, but it took the time to go again and shoot a sniper. So Putang, being the recon team, has spotted it out, and the tiger's just waiting for it. Yeah, I can see that now. I've got all of the perspectives here. So bottom right of my screen is the Tiger. Top right of my screen near Rue de Lagar is the 76. I can just see it slinking around the trees there. It's going out west, actually, Riley. I think they've worked yeah. out that they get shot when they go down the main road. So um, yeah. what I'd like you to do is follow that 76 for us, please, mate. He's actually currently at Golf 3 Keypad 1, just for your reference. Golf 3 Keypad 1. Um, so we're going to get you to follow that around. There's Kinky uh, sniping in. The Tiger's not moving. There's a huge push in from the TFK guys. Five minutes on the clock. There's an APC down south. That's a uh, that's a, uh, a Nards APC. There's a spawn wave on the point there. Bread, Glass, and then Cat, Copycat. Airhead coming in now. There's an excellent airhead to the southwest. If they've got fire support on that, it will be a good spot. But there's, look at the little crew running around there. Gobes, if I can get you in nice and tight on Copycat squad, please, mate. Uh, and and uh, Jack and Fish Sticks, this will be really interesting. Defective, seen the airhead. He's just, what's he doing to it? He's no, shooting, now he's not. No, he didn't see it. He did not see it land. Cat, cat did and Juff did, but cat, Juff cat did. Jumped. Oh, look at that cat no, running. They, it. they can't see it. They don't see it. That Cat's airhead is live. He's looking for it. He's... There he goes. He's found it. He stood up high and found it. Yeah, well done there. But is the spawn wave going to come off? No, I don't no. think so. Well, well played, copycat. I tell you what, defective. Right? Uh, there's a thing for you. Don't make me take off my belt. It's a little thing from Halo. Don't make me take off my belt. <laughs> he needs a spanking <laughs> for not looking for that head. I'm sure they were screaming in the uh, chat about that. Five minutes left, four minutes left now. Oh, I don't know oh, what that was on the point. Satchel. That was a satchel. To get rid of the MP. 
Uh, that's it, though. It didn't take out any of the OPs or Garys on there. Who's the truck around in the fields trying to run people over? Oh, uh, it's Dingo Pup trying to run um, Rusty over. Dingo, there he just jumps out, does the old deploy and shoot. I've done that a few times. It's fun. It's satisfying when you jump out of the truck. And, oh, the tiger just blew up. No, no, that was the tiger destroying uh, Joshua with a half-track again. Oh, he but put a half-track in. Now, the tiger oh, was too yes. busy looking at the half-track, and it's just copped one from the 76. Just saw that, the 76 taking one back. This is it. This is where the tiger could live or die here. Yeah, Great kill. Great kill. Follow that 76, mate. There's three minutes left, and that's a game-changing play. Dingo Pup's running across the field to try and get to that 76 now. This is getting tight now. This is getting tight. There's a spawn wave up to the top right. Dingo's down. He's not going to get that 76. That 76 has got Poutine behind it, but he's only a sniper. Uh, so he's not going to do any... Wait, Poutine's sniper? Or is he a uh, recon? Um, what uh, other way? Yeah, recon. He's a sniper-ish. Yeah, so recon lead is not going to be able to do anything there. 76 is going to make the difference here. Sputang, though, is going to be able to kill the repairs on that. There it is. There's the first kill. So that's Lucky that's down on that um, tank now. Okay, so he needs infantry support with two minutes, two and a half minutes left on the clock. There's a spawn wave up top. I think Nard's going to hold here. Guys, what do you think? Are they going to hold this? Uh, I think it might be down to the Y. If, if, um, if TFK get that push on like they did last time, but they all pushed together, I think they'll get it. Um... They need a bombing run. Really, uh, TFK need a bombing run to go straight up and down the point and then push in together. But I don't think they've got it in the cabinet, mate. I don't think, mate. I think, they, I think they used it a little while back that went across east-west. Something's Here flying past us. Supply. Here comes two supply trucks. This supplies uh, US and, um, and Americans. Yeah, so this is... Uh, or This 76 is probably going to die here. They've only got two crew now, remember. They lost one. So, uh, well, now two stopped. Two minutes left. The uh, Nards have got this, I think. Oh, this is tight, isn't it? This is tight. That tank's doing good work. Good God's work there with that tank. There's that spawn wave coming in now. Um, so, Gobes, if I can get you to look at Nucle and Bob and follow that spawn wave in there, uh, we're going to get you to follow that through where Huge Anus and uh, can Copycat are. Um, I'm just Thank watching it. over yeah. the point. See what Red's looking back. Good, good top perspective there from Red. Uh, Yagpans is going to follow. O'Reilly's going to follow that 76 on the point. It's backing up a bit now. There's a minute 20 left. There's a great wave coming in, but I think, I think Nards have got enough people here to defend this. That 76 is right there in the middle of everything, doing its thing, but it's not getting a lot of kills. There's a rocket in Dingo Pups just missed, I think. Yep. Here's, a bombing, short. Run. Here's a bombing run. I can hear it. Whose bombing runs this? That's, a, yeah, that's an NRD one. That's it. But it doesn't do any damage. It's out. That's a bombing run from TFK. That's, that's a bombing run from TFK. Yeah. That's, it's an oh, enough. there's a bombing run from NRD coming in as well. Up behind. Woo. Oh, there's Josh. Josh oh, was the... I went the wrong way. Here's the, here's the counter. 30 seconds left. The point's turning, lads. They're capping. They're capping. The point's turning. Josh was the unlucky guy running across the paddock that got shot. I'm not sure what they were dropping. And NRD have no spawns. They have an airhead coming down. They have two OPs in the vicinity. Oh, look at this. There's a spawn over the right, though. That spawn has managed to hold the cap. No, it's, it's going again. The tank's on the point. Have we got another tank coming in from NRD? Riley, is there another tank coming in from the NARS? Uh, sorry. Uh, no, there's a Tiger in spawn, but it, no one's in it. They will not get there in time. The They're points... bringing a recon car up on the right, but that's sort of... Um, yeah, yeah, trying to bring a water pistol to a bushfire. It's overtime, folks. Ladies and gents, it's overtime. It's so tight here. They've got to get their OPs out. They've got to get their spawns in. There's an airhead coming in. Whose airhead's that? That's the NARS airhead. Yeah, oh, it is. It's going back to NARS. It's going NARS' way. There's a tank just blew up. The tank blew up. That'll be it. Yeah, That'll that was the it. recon no, car. it's capping and again. It's capping the tank, again. The tank. They just oh. put a satchel on the tank. Uh, and it's been satchel. The 76 is going to... But it might blow up a whole heap of NARS here. We've got a lot of friendlies within 35 meters the point yeah, is, is turning too many. the point is turning have they got it it's turning it's definitely turning oh contested. this is tight it's oh, been contested TFK for the last... coming back this the satchel last... is going to be bad that's going to take out two or three nrd players here we go this is huge this is huge there it is boom and now the point will start turning blue again they killed four of them for their own team mm. it's, it's not enough though it's not enough it's going red it's going red 
Oh, this is tight. KFK have bought this home at the end, but it's not going to be enough. This will be GG. And that's, that's GG. It. And this will be GG right here. Let's wait for the call. We're looking for the call. Yeah, there's uh, the spawn name. There it is. Oh. Hey. What Good a way to though. finish. Look at the look at the map now though. There's more map control out to the west. They've they've done what they needed to do earlier. They've managed to finally get into there. They're in the point. They're working hard. They, geez, if they had got their comms right at the start over that first 20 minutes, this would have been a different battle, I reckon. Nards have held on by the skin of their teeth for a victory there. Uh, look, Riley, let's go to you first. Thoughts on that match, please, mate. Well, I reckon Joshua absolutely yeeting that half track into the point towards the end there <laughs> purely a distraction because the tiger you know got hungry for the kill took out that which mm. allowed the 76 to pop it and then the 76 guarded the infantry in from the west so that was quite a clever play using that half track as a distraction because we and know everyone panics for it well, he that's did it so twice he did it twice so as well don't forget that he pushed it from behind and he brought it in and they thought it was their own half track coming and they didn't well, realize it was the enemies shit i thought it was their half track man i didn't realize it was tfk's and i've got the map information up um the tiger got distracted up the top right there didn't it Riley? it absolutely did yeah it went for the half track and um it knew the 76 was there 76 was marked accurately to about 50 meters so mm. Really, they should have been more disciplined and gone for the thing that shoots back. There you go. Gobes, your summary, please, mate. Um, best best part of it was the last five, uh, 10 to 5 minutes. Uh, 10 to 5 minutes. If uh, TFK play like they did in the last uh, 10 to 5 minutes, they'll dominate. They'll be a viable force for future matches, won't they? Yeah. Just a little bit more map control. Definitely the comms, though, is the thing that lost um, tonight across all the teams uh, that, that lost. Uh, their comms, their map information, you know, doing the old marker ping stuff, um, putting up infantry marks, putting up uh, tank marks, that sort of stuff. That's what I want to see more of, and I'm not seeing enough of that yet. So, hey, uh, look, well fought in the end there from the TFK guys to get to where they were um uh, you know, almost able to win that at the 11th hour. Again, I love those ones that come down to the tight, tight last parts. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the flyover reel now. I'm going to say thank you very much, first of all, to Riley tonight. Thanks for being here, mate. Oh, thanks, man. It's always fun. Uh, and I really do appreciate your support. I uh, Thank uh, Gobatron as well, please. Uh, not a problem. Anytime. Thanks for thanks. having me. Thanks, buddy. And, uh, of course, Lurgan in the background, as we said earlier, providing some viable footage for us. It was good footage, mate. Red Dragon, thank you, mate. Thanks for having me.